right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, DC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the waters. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win a UFC championship. And no room for a one-pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will wrest the title away. Superstardom, and a lot of people believe in this matchup. He's going to be able to have his way in the striking realm. Let's see how it plays out here early. Block that one. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down. Mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Job getting that punch to the target. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. It hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. Kick right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice shot there by the champ. Three minutes to go here, round one. Oh, nice kick. seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, another one. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, a big left hand. Nice counter left there. Good kick. Like this. There it is. Right back on his legs. Just misses with the right. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice punch. Yes, to the single collar tie now. He continues to work that lead leg to great effect. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. Fazib gets caught by the straight punch. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, they're trading huge shots here to see who's the last man standing. Oh, oh what a round. How good was that? Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10 8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish, was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that Ready. ability. Second round on the way. Massive head kick. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Fazib gets lit up by that straight punch. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. That punch, no good. Roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice hook by Fazeen. with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. 
He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, just misses with the kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Right on the button. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. And they separate after exiting the clinch. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. Back to the clinch. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Oh, that was a good knee, yo. Another knee. Oh, and there is another knee. Man, those are doing a lot of damage to his opponent here in this fight. I'd be crying to my Cheerios in the corner by now. Ow! Now you're really starting to see the damage on that thigh. Maybe check a kick, protect that leg a little bit. He's got to check a kick in return. You've got to make him pay for throwing these leg kicks. They can't be free. You can't just get your leg beat up. Right now we're starting to see how much damage he's inflicted on his opponent. Unable to connect there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Ten minutes in the books. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Tremendous body kick lands from this guy. Only blocked that one. Flips to avoid that left. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. They continue to exchange. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. 
Oh, the kick landed. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Fazeeb gets plastered with that overhand. Just over three minutes to go. That was a nice strike. Right. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut. Making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Beautiful little hook. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. Trying to kick the leg out. The fighters separate. Under a minute to go. Because he gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Who's in a good low state, landing punch after punch. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Really nice defense there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Just missed with the leg kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Fuzzy. 10 seconds to go in the round. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, at times, he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so, and now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. 
that's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter. Because a fighter never really wants to give you anything. But he can't help himself. Fazeev's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Need some work, guys. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. No defense. These two are going back and forth. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Doing work with the jab there. Fazeev's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Hook to the head there by Fazeev. Great block there. Stay heavy on that cut. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, flying knee to the head. Throwing that jab, no good. Under two minutes now to go. Nice body kick there. Oh. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice kick to the midsection. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So that cut continues to get more soon. Oh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Man, the bruising on that calf is out of control. I need to do some calf raises next week, build up some muscle. My I mean, God. you're taking it by osmosis. You're not even getting kicked. You're like, man, this hurts so bad to even watch. Tremendous game plan by this guy. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. Listen, we are losing this fight. I need you to dig down and get good on this round. Everything we do has to All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Fifth 
and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, couldn't get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Four strikes to the head. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. He checked that last one. Well, we've been talking about the knees throughout this fight and the placement of them. Look at those numbers. I'm not sure how many more flush knees his opponent can take. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Nice jab. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Beautiful body kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely gassed. They both fought very hard, but after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, good night, guys, and in the second round, you saw the other guy, good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's going to be a question of will and determination, and that going to be who wins the fight. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least if you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. He's got good leg kicks. There it is. Under two minutes now to decide this one. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Got the hook in quickly. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Big body kick. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Oh, there it is. Oh, he catches the leg there and then works it into a takedown. High-level mixed martial arts there. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Fazeev's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Final seconds of the fight. Heavy kick late from the champ. 
the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Asai.